That was good now. The issue that I'd like to raise has been raised many times in the paper. And I'd just like to get some clarity on where things stand and the travel authorizations. Um, the Minister of Transport noted the challenges that he faced with uh, shipping companies. Uh, you continue to have stories about people not getting off the ships because of the challenges with the travel authorization. Mr. Speaker, this morning I had a phone call from a resident who represents the high net worth individuals that we are trying to attract to this island. She's in her 70s. She has a four, five million dollar house in Bermuda. And she is not that computer literate. And so she came to Bermuda with one of her girlfriends. And because her girlfriend is younger, she completed the forms and had it all resolved for her. She called me up in frustration and said, Pearl, I am a resident of Bermuda. I have a house in Bermuda. And it was so stressful. I had to show my documents four times when I came to the airport. Four times. And why can't we make that more efficient? She concluded by saying, even though I have a house here, I have staff working for me, and, you know, I contribute dramatically to our economy, I don't think I can come back until the travel authorization is addressed and made more user-friendly. Mr. Speaker, this is somebody that is committed to Bermuda. This is somebody that has been here for over 20 years. This is somebody that spent millions and millions and millions in Bermuda. And she probably represents many other seniors, and we're just talking about seniors, who have challenges with completing the travel authorization forms. You've heard my honorable member, Michael Dunkley, speak about it. You've had requests for a review by the Tourism Authority. If we want to kill tourism, that we can continue on the path that we're currently taking and for, as far as inc uh, inconvenience is concerned. Mr. Speaker, I recently traveled to Germany and all I had to do once was show my travel certificates. When I went to the UK, I didn't have to show anything other than what I showed at the airport, nothing else. People are going to the Caribbean. Some Caribbean countries are just asking for copies of your vaccination certificates. And so we must remain competitive. We must ensure that when tourists come to Bermuda, it's a seamless transition that's convenient. I understand, as I said in my opening remarks, from the tourism, sorry, the Minister of Transport, that the cabinet is looking to see how we can make this more efficient. I invite the Premier to make this a priority. We are beginning our summer season, which is our peak season. And if people like this lady who has an interest in Bermuda, who is a senior, feels that way, and she's almost virtually a belonger because she's a resident, then imagine the message that she can tell her friends and what impact that would have on Bermuda. Like I said, she has the money to do whatever she wants, and she still loves Bermuda. But the challenges with the travel authorizations has caused her great anxiety. And she said to me, 
Mr. Simons, I will not come back, even though I have my lovely hair, and even though I love Bermuda, until the travel authorization issue is resolved or made far more user friendly. I'm sure that she represents many more people like her and many people that we're trying to attract to this island. So I invite the government, the Premier, to make this a priority and do something or eliminate the travel authorization. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mr. Speaker. Is there any other number? Mr. Speaker. Minister of Education. Thank, thank you, Mr.